Today I'm going to show you three different ways to use a string trimmer for your edging or what you may call it a weed eater, weed whacker, strimmer, whatever you call it, but we're going to use it for edging. And I want to address one thing that I get a lot of times in the comments. People say, hey, if you use that string trimmer to edge at my house, I'd fire you. That's not edging. You need to use an edger, a stick edger for edging. Well, my argument against that is yes I, I do think an edger is a great tool for edging a sidewalk sometimes people can do an excellent job with these as well it does take a little bit of practice but even if you use a stick edger for edging the sidewalk and driveway what about around a tree ring that has no border if it's just Bermuda grass like we have in the south it runs and the way to keep it from running up in your flower beds and in around a tree ring is to flip the trimmer upside down. So if you take a stick edger and you're out there edging around your tree ring, I'm going to probably laugh at you and I may even point my finger and laugh at the same time. So what I would say is, yes, if you want to use your edger uh, for the driveway and the sidewalk, that's excellent. But it's still a skill that you can have to be able to flip your weed eater upside down an edge around a tree ring or a flower bed with no border. Okay, so I've got my trimmer here and this is a Husqvarna trimmer and I'm gonna show you a couple of ways I see people edge and then I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I'm not saying one way is right or wrong, but I do think there's some preferences. I wanna show you a little bit of the pros and cons to each way. So let's get started right now. First method is one that, be honest with you, I normally just see homeowners do. I don't see landscaping professionals use this method. But I'll, I'll call it the sidewinder method because I feel like they just turn the trimmer up on its side and they kind of walk with it in front of them. So let me see if I can demonstrate this. Of course, encourage you to wear eye protection and ear protection when using a string trimmer and be aware of your surroundings. On the sidewinder, again, they just turn the trimmer on its side and they're basically walking behind. You can see there I actually did an okay job edging that but this is not my preferred method of edging let me explain to you why one of the problems with edging by just turning it on its side is that that the trimmer head is spinning right back at your face and so basically you're taking all the debris and throwing it right back at yourself I don't personally prefer that too I also just don't think it's is quite as fast as uh, maybe the other two ways I'm gonna show you. So again, if you wanna do it that way, it's nothing wrong with that, um, but it, you're, you're throwing more stuff at yourself and you may even need to, to wear a face shield or whatever, and it's just not as fast in my opinion. I can edge by standing on the driveway side or on the grass side. I, I personally find it a little bit easier to stand on the sidewalk and edge, but if you can, you can do it on either side. And I can walk forward, backwards. Of course, walking forward is more natural for most human beings. Um, but if you, I don't get all worked up if I see somebody walk backwards. But some people like to tell me in the comments that walking backwards is terrible. So if you want to do that, you can. The second method is one that I see a good many uh, professionals use this method, and I think it's certainly nothing wrong with it. But I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. And that's their take their tremor like this, and they flip it up. And, it, and go basically vertical with it, and then they're using their finger on the trigger. The idea when you're trimming is you basically want the line perpendicular to the ground, okay, so that you got a nice crisp angle. You don't want it angled one way or another. You want it straight up and down uh, where it is making a nice clean edge. When you do this, you can definitely get the line perpendicular to the ground. Now, what I don't like about this, and I'm gonna demonstrate it, and I've said this before in other videos, but I feel like this trimmer engine is right here in my ear hole okay so when i'm working i've got this thing in my ear hole now maybe i'm trying to listen to an audio book or a podcast or maybe i just don't want this thing right here in my ear while i'm trimming so i'm going to show you a different way but this is a legitimate way i see a lot of people do it i do think it gives you a nice perpendicular cut to the to the ground and I, i'm going to see if i can demonstrate it now Not, not 
and I'll walk backwards. Let me walk forward just to show you I can do that too. Now I do like a little bit longer trimmer line when I'm edging. You want to use the tip of the line. You don't want the line too long because if it's too long, it's going to wobble a little bit and it's not going to give you quite as crisp of a cut. But I also don't want it very short. But again, no, I know you got a long line, short line. You want to just use the tip of the line. To, you're not trying to dig a trench, basically. Now let me show you the method I use when I'm edging. It's, it's not a whole lot different, but I think there's a couple reasons why I like this method. Let's say I'm doing my normal trimming right here and I want to flip it over an edge. One reason I like this method, I think it's the fastest. So if I'm trimming like this and I got to go this, that that's not slow, but it, it's not super fast either. If I'm going here and then I got to go here. So, you know, that's, that's a, a little bit of a complicated move. But if I'm going here and the way I do it, I simply flip it over in my hand. I'm holding it right here and boom, it's upside down. I mean, it's, it's super fast. Okay, so I'm holding it, now I'm edging. Now I'm back, now I'm edging, now I'm back, now I'm edging, now I'm back. You know, it's really, really fast. So that's all I do. I'm holding it right here. When I flip it, now I'm using my thumb on the trigger, and instead of holding the top of the handle, I'm now holding the side of the handle. Okay, now, the disadvantage of this way, it might not be quite as much of a 90 degree angle as going this way, okay? So, and you may even have to kind of hold it up just a little bit. But I think that the pros outweigh the cons. It's just what I'm comfortable with. I'm not arguing right and wrong. The thing I like about this is when I'm going this way, I feel like the line is directly underneath me, okay? And it's possible it's gonna throw stuff up. Uh, when I'm going out in front of it, it's throwing stuff back at me. I feel like when I do it my way, I can actually hold the trimmer a little bit in front of me and or behind me, depending on what I'm doing and to where it's not as likely to throw something up straight toward my face. Of course, I'm wearing glasses and safety protection, but it's just a, an added benefit in my opinion. But the main thing is speed and also just what you're comfortable with. So let me demonstrate the way I typically do it. I'm gonna actually show you like if I was trimming, I'm gonna go down this sidewalk, just my normal trimming, and then I'll flip it over and come back and edge it. Flip it over, I'm trimming, and now I'll flip it. And now I can come back. To use a stick edger on this that's fine let me show you real quick just edging around a flower bed where there's no border and how this is handy skill to have when you're doing that so you see in this situation you've got no border in the bermuda grass it'll just keep running up into these flower beds if you don't keep it maintained with a string trimmer so let me show you how that works You can see there I was able to clean up that edge and sometimes if your mower can get right up to the edge then you don't have to go back with the trimmer but sometimes you got to trim it with the edge and then go back and kind of level out the edge if the mower is, is like a few inches off where you cut then you may have to come and do some regular trimming right there so it doesn't stick up along the edge but that's basically how you maintain it because again our, our warm season grasses they'll just keep running all up into the flower bed even if you have a border, oftentimes they start running up into the flower bed and it just doesn't look nice and finished. And of course, you can just put an edge on a sidewalk like that as well.
Thanks for watching the video. I'm Jason Creel. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. There's about a thousand videos on the channel. We recently hit over 100,000 subscribers. Check out some more videos popping up for you now. Or if you're looking to get into the lawn care business, into weed control, fertilization, or mowing, or mosquito spraying, go to lawncarelife.com. There's resources available for you there. We'll see you guys in the next video.